top of the morning, Puila's Peace Saints. I am Puila Mons, your inner voice magnified. So today I want to talk to you about the good girl, good boy syndrome that is stopping you from achieving your dreams. You know, for many years, for as long as I can remember, I've always been that girl who's always done everything that was expected of her. I mean, from what was expected of me by my parents, by my teachers, at church. I mean, that was a good life for me. Satisfying the elders, getting blessings from the elders was just my most number one goal in life. Every time I would hear an elderly person saying, you know what? You are such a blessing. Oh, thank you, baby girl. That just was it for me. That was just the life for me. But what I realized was that because so for so many years I had done everything that people were expecting of me and the elders were expecting of me, the community was expecting of me, I realized that that was a bit of a disadvantage to, to a certain degree because I realized that I actually never understood what I stood for. I actually never defined what life was for myself outside external influences. So although it was a good thing and it is still a good thing to do uh, good things, to be morally grounded, to please the elders, I realized that I needed a little bit of a bad girl in me <laughs> in terms of you know, defining for myself now what, who I am and what matters to me and what life is to me, what success is to me, what love is to me and what a relationship with God means to me without external influences or at least even though obviously I cannot completely get rid of the external influences but just at the basis of it just to define such concepts for myself what does confidence mean to me those are were the things that i i realized i had lagged by always following direction and always waiting for somebody to tell me what good behavior is i never got to understand it for myself and hence when I was starting to really search for my purpose, it was difficult for me to say, guys, this is me, this is who I am, and this is what success means to me now. I mean, those conversations were the most difficult conversations, especially when it came to my family, because now all of a sudden it meant I needed to voice out a different perspective from what my family knew as success. I mean, most of my family members, you know, we know that success is working for a big corporate in a good position after getting your degree or your diploma. And that is life that we know. But for me to tell them, actually, this is the life that I know and I'm, I've appreciated until this point. Now I'm discovering a new type of success that I want to, to pursue for myself. That means a lot more than what has been defined previously for me as success. Those were some of the difficult conversations that I had to battle with in my mind. I mean, just getting myself to a space where I was willing to face my family and tell them my thoughts and tell them my plans. Those were the most difficult situ situations, I mean, conversations that I ran in my mind a thousand times before I could do simply because of the good girl, what I call a good girl, good boy syndrome. You know, it is good to 
get advice. It is good to, until you understand who you are, appreciate what the elders are teaching you. And I wouldn't have taken anything away from my past and the way I've lived my life because it is because of those teachings that I got from my elders that I am who I am today. And I have got the kind of history of a good girl <laughs> that I have. And I appreciate so much. I appreciate it so much. And I thought I should talk about it because you know what? Most of the time we talk about coming back from a, a rebellious background or coming back from a super poor background into achieving your dreams. But we really never talk about how life has been as a so-called good girl or a so-called good boy and how such a tag gets to influence your life and your future. So I thought I should talk to you, all the good girls out there and the good boys out there who are still there, that you know what? Just because now you understand who you are, just because now you're starting to define concepts for yourself, doesn't mean your loved ones will look at you any differently, doesn't mean they will love you any less, and it doesn't mean that you are a disappointment to them. It means that so far you've done what they have told you to do but you are at a point where you are connecting more with god you are at a point where you are discovering life for yourself and it is okay to say you know what thank you for the seasons that you've taken me through life but now i think i'm entering into a season where I'm starting to define concepts for myself, like concepts like success, concepts like, concepts like what makes sense to me, what is confidence to me, what is beauty to me. It is okay to define those things to you. And I tell you, if you start with one, having a discussion with your loved ones, especially the ones who have the most influence in you, when you have that conversation just on one of the concepts that you are starting to define for yourself, you'll find out, yes, they will be a little bit disappointed. Yes, you might have to defend your standpoint a little bit so that you are also understood, you get your point across. But you'll eventually notice that the more you communicate what makes sense to you and the more they see that you're still that responsible, good girl, good boy, person that they know the more freedom you will have to express more of who you are to them and the more freedom they will allow you to to become the person that God intended you to become so you know what it was good while it lasted to be a good girl 100% but I'm saying to you in order for you to achieve your dreams you need to have that element of bad girl. <laughs> Difficult as it is, but it's not being, it's not that you're being disrespectful. It's just that you're now starting to know who you are and you are willing to actually share your standpoint. So to all the good girls and good boys out there, I just want to remind you, your view matters. Your outlook in life matters because it is through your outlook that your purpose can be pursued and through your outlook that you can achieve the kind of dreams that you internally have but are so scared to, to express because they go almost against what you have been taught and because you've grown up for a long time doing exactly what people expect of you it can be intimidating to start recognizing life in the way that suits you best and actually expressing it but i tell you the minute you start expressing it 
you will eventually notice that people will start relaxing around you and the more freer you'll become and they will not love you any less. I am Pulamans, your inner peace and purpose coach.